Okay, hi guys. So today we're going to do the weld pocket, the basic one. So what you need is uh, a square piece, fuse with the two punch hole that are uh, two centimeters smaller than the, the actual opening you're going to have. So my two punch hole and I connect them with a line to make sure my sewing is going to be straight. You need the two welt, you need the big pocket bag and you need a smaller pocket bag in lining. Uh, the weld pocket are fused also. Okay, so uh, first step, you take your fabric and you take one of the weld and you put it centered right onto the line that you trace. If you do have your little notch, the notches should be about a centimeter further on each side of the punch hole. And you're going to assemble from the notch at one centimeter from the edge of the weld. Very important not to go any further. So if you have to go manually at the beginning, it's better, it's more accurate. Same thing at the end. You go manu manually, if you have to do a half stitch, you do your half stitch. That's for the first one. And you repeat the same thing on the other side. So I turn it around. I put my second welt right next to the first one, no overlapping. And you're going to sew also at one centimeter, starting exactly at the same distance. At the same place. To help you at the beginning, you could even use your chalk and trace the line. So very important that it's square over here. At this point, if you realize that you're missing a stitch, you go back on the sewing machine and you stitch it again. Okay, so now at this point, it's time to cut the opening. So what you're going to do is you're going to lift the seam allowance of the weld and you're going to cut only the square, the big square piece right on the line that you trace all the way to the punch holes. So you lift it and you go all the way to the punch hole, both sides. Then you're going to lift the little welt again because you have to see the very last point you did. And you're going to cut from the punch hole to that very last point or to one millimeter, one millimeter from the very last point. And you repeat that four times. You repeat it three times, <laughs> both sides to the very last point. There you go. Okay, so then the next step is going to be to press your seam allowance that we did open. So turn the welt inside out And we're going to press the seam open one at a time. You see the seam allowance here? So you're going to press it open one side at a time. And you continue your pressing all the way to the end of the weld. Same thing here. Too much seam. You turn around and you do the other side. Too much steam. Oh, 
Okay, when this is done, you're going to flip the second half of the welt, and it should meet perfectly if you did your one centimeter perfectly with the edge of the welt. Same thing here. This and this. They should meet perfectly. Uh, if they don't meet, you make sure you adjust it. So you should have no overlap, you should have no gap in between, and you press it again. Alright, now we look at it from the right side, and you already have your welt done. Next step, we're going to go on the machine and tack the docktail. Okay, so the docktail, I placed them on the top so you could see them, but now the idea is to push them inside. So you just flip the fabric, Duck, ducktails are inside, and you're going to tuck, to tack. Don't try to go too close to your seam, it doesn't change a thing. So you just tack the size of this, the ducktail. Right. You do that on both sides. Same thing here. So I'm going to flip the little ducktail inside, fold the fabric. So see, you can't go any further. So you just fold it like that and you tack your ducktail. That's what we have till now. That's what we have. So the the most important part is done because what we see is done. Uh, now what you're going to do is you're going to lift the front and stitch the back of the welt together with the seam allowance. So you lift and you're going to stitch inside, you never go outside, so inside the seam allowance or right over it. Millimeter smaller is okay, but not any bigger. So one side is done. Same thing for the bottom. So I turn it around, I'm going to lift the bottom part and I'm going to stitch again inside the seam allowance or right over the first one. Now what we have to do is assemble the welt with the pocket bag. So you could start with the bottom, with the bottom with the lining pocket bag. So bottom is right here, bottom with the small pocket bag. So we put them together and we assemble the seam with the pocket bag. So I'm going to turn it around so you could see my original seam. Lining is there, I put them together, and I'm going to assemble one more time on the same seam. Make sure I don't grab the weld. Same seam, or like what we just did, a, a millimeter inside. The lining is assembled now to the bottom part. I'm going to assemble the big pocket bag that's usually in self-fabric. I'm going to assemble with the top weld. 
So again, I'm lifting to grab just the seam allowance and I'm going to assemble same thing again in the same seam. Or a millimeter down. Okay, so now we're at this point, we have one last last seam to do. So the pocket bag is done, the lining is done. So what we have to do is assemble all around and the pocket will be finished. Uh, I'm always allowing a two centimeter, just in case you do a little mistake, but we, we are in fact sewing at one centimeter. So I'll turn it around, lift the side and assemble together at one centimeter. If your pocket bag they don't match perfectly, I have a little difference here, it doesn't matter. Never pull to make them match, just so remember that's inside. Now I'm lifting the bottom. Lifting the other side, and we go all the way up. And your pocket is now finished. Bye, guys.